welcome back, everybody. Time for my Rams Up Straight Up game picks for week number six. Before we get started, let's get caught up on where I am at so far this year, along with our buddy over at CBS Sports, Pete Prisco. We've been tracking his picks and comparing to mine all year long. Now, I found an error in my uh, account of how Pete has done. He said that he was 32 and 32 going into this week. So I made that adjustment and he went six and eight in week five, leaving him at 38 and 40. And I went seven and seven, leaving me at 39 and 39. And while that may not be very impressive, and actually just to say it, it is not very impressive, but this year has been brutal. Uh, not just for me and Pete, but for pretty much everybody. A lot of upsets, a lot of strange picks, a lot of a lot of strange results, I should say, and a lot of survivor leagues that probably ended very, very early. So there's there's where we're at right now. Let's get into the the picks this week. Now, first of all, um, let's note the teams that are on a buy. We got the Two undefeated teams, the Vikings and Chiefs, and two underperforming teams for uh, similar reasons, really, the Dolphins and the Rams, all four teams on a bye. What do we got with our first game on the table? We have the 49ers at the Seahawks. Seahawks favored by three and a half. Christian McCaffrey will not be back although it is looking a little bit better for his possible return the following week. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, 49ers are winners of five straight in this series. However, Seattle has a all-time lead of 30 wins and 22 losses. A little bit surprising. Did not know that. The um, 49ers have another issue, a new issue to deal with. Jake Moody has a high ankle sprain, so they had a little kicking competition and signed a street free agent there to help them out. So that's um, you know that's something to be concerned about. Uh, for you know, Ram fans know all about that signing kickers off the street. But uh, Seattle has been, I think uh, people got a little too excited about their three and zero start, and sure enough, they came back down to earth and lost to the Giants at home. And you know what does that tell us about the Seattle team? Maybe they. Uh, still have some things to figure out, but I'm taking the 49ers to win this straight up, um, and they would these two teams would be tied at the top of the NFC West, potentially with the Cardinals as well. So um, taking the Niners, and I think I think that would be a good result for the Rams, but you never know how things are going to play out. Maybe we'd regret that. Maybe we would look back at this game and uh, be wishing that the Seahawks had won. We'll have to see. Next up, the Jags at the Bears. Bear, Bears favored by two and a half. This is only the ninth time these teams have played. The Bears have a 5-3 lead. And the Bears played really, coming off that win over the Rams, where I don't think they played that well. Rams gave that one away. They played really well, but it was against the Panthers. Trevor Lawrence lit it up last week. And um, will he keep that up? If they were at home, I'm taking the Jags for sure. But in this one, I'll take the home team, the home team favorite. Now we have a regional matchup up next. Washington at Baltimore. Ravens, six and a half point favorites. This will be a high scoring game. And sure enough, that was what I thought. And then I looked at the over under the highest of the week, 52 and a half, because the commander's defense, they used to hang their head on defense just a couple of years ago. Not so much anymore. And then you have Baltimore. Uh, they lost their D.C., the new coach over there in Seattle, and they have dropped off a little bit, too. So this will be a high scoring, uh, high scoring game. Only the eighth time they have met Ravens lead the series four to three. And I, I, I would take the commanders in the six and a half points because Jaden Daniels, man, he is a real deal. This is going to be fun. Electric football must-see TV from an NFL perspective, but I am taking the Ravens, you know, just a, just a better team overall. Um, what do you say about this game? It could go either way. 
I don't expect the Ravens to run away with it, though. Jaden Daniels is going to make it close and interesting, but Ravens hang on for the win. Then we have the Cardinals at the Packers. Packers favored by five. This is another team, the Packers are another team that I think is get, getting way too much love. If you look at the results this year, nothing to be overly impressed about. There really isn't. And the Cardinals have had two really impressive wins over the 49ers and the Rams. Um, and then uh, a little bit disappointing otherwise. So I would take the Cardinals to cover, but Green Bay is a tough place to play. So I'll take the Packers. Texans at the Patriots, Texans seven-point favorites, which sounds about right, but the Patriots just have a knack for keeping things closer than you expect. But I'm taking the Texans in that one. Big NFC West showdown. We got the Bucks at the Saints. Bucks favored by three and a half because they're, the Saints quarterback Carr will miss this game, replaced by the Fresno State quarterback Jake Hayner. Um, Saints have won 12 the Saints have won, Saints have dominated the series, 40 wins to 25 losses, but that is uh, weighed, weighted down by the first 16 matches. Saints won 12 of them, and that was when the, the Bucks were a new franchise, and they were pretty horrible. You know, remember those days with John McKay. So uh, after those first 16, it's been much more even. But taking Baker Mayfield uh, over Jake Hanner, the road to team wins in this one. Browns at Eagles. Eagles favored by eight and a half. Browns coming off a horrible loss. Eagles coming off a bye. I will roll with the Eagles in that one. Colts at the Titans. Colts favored by one. They get Jonathan Taylor back. And that will be the difference. Colts are the better team. And they will win this probably by more than one, I'm guessing. Chargers at the Broncos. Broncos have dominated this series. 73 wins, 55 losses in one tie. Chargers are favored. And yeah, I don't know, man. Chargers coming off a bye. So maybe that's enough reason to take them in this one. Tough game to pick. Broncos have surprised me a couple of times, but I'll take the Chargers. The Steelers at the Raiders. Steelers favored by three games in Las Vegas. And um, Steelers, yet another team, along with the Seahawks and Packers, that I think are getting way too much love. But the Raiders are, you know, hey, there are new Raiders uh, ready to disappoint us at every turn. And the Steelers will win this one. Falcons at the Panthers. You know, it's interesting there. Let me tell you a little story about Kirk Cousins. Last week, my fantasy football team, I had Anthony Richardson and Matthew Stafford as my quarterbacks. And yeah, maybe not that, uh, nothing to get too excited about. The rest of my team's pretty darn good, though. Um, Richardson was questionable. I didn't want to start Matthew Stafford without Puka or Cooper. So I picked up Kirk Cousins, put him in my starting lineup, and he promptly threw for over 500 yards and four TDs. Maybe this Falcon offense, which seems like it should be really dynamic and exciting, but hasn't been. Maybe they finally figured it out. You know, they got Bijan Robinson, Drake London, Kyle Pitts. Uh, they got, they, it's a really, they have a lot of weapons there. And if last week is any, perhaps last week is a sign that the Falcons have finally figured it out on offense. So they're going to take care of the Panthers um, coming off a big win. Lions at the Cowboys. Lions coming off a bye. Cowboys coming off a thrilling win in Pittsburgh. This one sounds like a Thanksgiving Day special, doesn't it? Lions at Cowboys. Lions favored by three. Um, Lions are really a complete team, and the Cowboys are not, especially with their, their guys, uh, some guys banged up. So I'll take the Lions to prevail. Sunday night football. Bengals at the Giants. As painful as some of our losses have been for the Rams, nothing, none of them compare to what the Bengals went through last week, what the Bengals put their fans through last week. But they're going to bounce back and get a win. The Giants winning in Seattle, really surprising. But uh, don't, get, don't overreact to the Giants win. Daniel Jones had a really good game. I think the Bengals will win this one. And then Monday Night Football, Bills at the Jets. 
the Jets, the new interim coach, Jeff Ulbrich. And now the question is, is Nathaniel Hackett once again on the hot seat? Um, Aaron Rodgers apparently loves him, but this team, you know, someone wrote an article that the, the, uh, Everybody's been has has had elevated expectations for what the, this Jets team could get done this year. Really good defense and Aaron Rodgers, Brees Hall, Garrett Wilson, but not really a very good team. Not a team ready to compete for a Super Bowl. That was the opinion of this writer, and and maybe they're right. Maybe they're correct. Uh, maybe this team really isn't that good. Aaron Rodgers has played pretty good. His pick six. Um, really was devastating last week. They might have won if it weren't for that. So Bills favored by two in New York, in uh, New York City. Um, I don't think Jeff Ulbrich is going to, I don't think the team's going to necessarily get fired up and, and come out there and win one for their new interim coach. I think the Bills uh, barely lost last week. They've played really good football day in and day out. The Bills win this one. So interesting uh, commentary on my own picks here, 14 games, and I have picked 10 visiting teams, 10 visitors to win here. And that's usually not a good formula for success. But, you know, I always say when in doubt, take the home team. I guess I don't have a lot of doubts here because 10 of my 14 picks are the visitors. So we'll see how that works out. I realized that when I was done with my picks and I Kind of scares me how I might do this week. I don't know what Pete's doing. We'll check on him in a couple of days and we'll report back next week. Compare how Pete and I did out here from Rams Up. Week six, Rams Up straight up picks for you. We'll talk again soon.